Bristol even. And there's plenty of chub in front of me. So I'm gonna put out one bit of uh, bread. It's gonna slowly sink. Let's see what we get. After I've managed to definitely scare all of those chub away <laughs> by uh, casting on top of them, I've opted to fish towards the bottom third of the river, about six feet down, with loose feeding liquidized bread. Let's see what we get. First one, as ever, really lively, straight back. This wind is proving so difficult again. This blower has changed its direction by about 90 degrees, so it's literally blowing right at me again, drifting everything my side unnaturally. But uh, I'll keep trying this method for a while, I think. Here's the old kingfisher. And so rather than compete against the wind, I ain't gonna bother with that. I'm just switched to the quiver tip. Because obviously, when I chuck this bread in the river under the water, it's barely moving. There's no flow in this Bristol Haven for loads of reasons, which we won't get into. So th this just sits on the bottom, but my float by the wind is just coming towards me. So uh, there's a dog. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> so uh, I gotta cover me bait. Come on you. I was just saying uh I switched to the the bread on the link ledger anyway. Just before one of the hundreds of thousands of dogs that we see come and try to steal my bread. black spots on him, mainly due to the sewage. But it doesn't seem to harm them whatsoever. Okay, the wind is still persistent. The sunlight is still persistent and I cannot make the fish go to the bottom of the river to save my life. So I'm back on the float rod, although it's very tricky because at least I might get a bite. Still using bread, let's see what we get. Look at the 
blooming sky behind me. <laughs> There's my bit of bread. Have a look when I just drop it in the margin there. Let's have a watch. Right, that definitely isn't working. There's no way I can control the float. I can't even cast it halfway across the river. Uh, so that isn't working and the bread on the bottom isn't working because I can't get these roach on that to feed on the bottom because the bread's just sitting mid-water. So I'm now going to try a lobworm on the quiver tip. Right then, so I've moved from that previous swim where I was fishing with bread. It was very static water so definitely there'll be a build-up of all sorts of nonsense in the water. That's why those chub were right on the surface in like 10 feet of water, just for oxygen. Um, so I've moved to a bit of the river where it's more like five feet and there's a bit more flow and we'll see what we get. Ah, oh, that was a kingfisher. Didn't last that very long because the reeds blew into him. That was amazing. I'm getting clear big fish bites. That's a nice perch, that. Lovely. Put my head there so you can see it a bit better. Beautiful. That was one pound eleven. That was a fantastic perch, wasn't it? One pound eleven, so obviously it's fully spawned out and um, didn't weigh much, but it was big in bulk. And I kind of thought they were they would be here in a slightly faster water. Fingers crossed, get another one. <laughs> 